So let's talk about weight loss and energy and how it impacts when we suppress our emotions. So a lot of my clients come to me when they're at a loss and they've tried everything and they've been counting calories, they've been doing all sorts of fad diets. And generally when we start to look into it a little bit more, we see that there has been a lot of binge eating, a cycle of starting a fad diet, getting to a Wednesday or Thursday and saying, okay, this is not for me. I'll start again on Monday. But what comes with that is the feeling of guilt, the feeling of failure. And a lot of people, and I know from working with clients, that they suppress these emotions Now, when we start to suppress emotions, whether it's around fear, failure, whatever it is, if we don't acknowledge them, we suppress them into our energy centers. If you're familiar with chakras, these will be our energy centers. Now, if this is happening continuous with different things and we just try to just forget about it, these can present themselves years later in illness, diseases, and I'll talk more about chakras later um, later in the week to, for those that don't know what they, they are. What I work through with my clients is when you have this binge or when you feel as if you haven't reached your goal, it's to stop, acknowledge, and be in the moment as opposed to feeling like a failure when we can accept it and know, okay, I didn't do what I was meant to do or I didn't reach that goal, but tomorrow is another day. Just stop, ground yourself and acknowledge and don't be hard on yourself. Everything takes time. It's like being asked to start writing with the opposite hand. It's practice but please don't suppress those emotions.